Hey, how's it going? My name is Shu. So, Heyday is like a browser history on steroids or like a bookmark manager. It can be used as a mood board, digital library, scratchpad, filing cabinet, and so on. I think it's in the same vein as apps like uh, Raindrop, Pocket, Pinterest, My Mind, and even Evernote if you use it as a place to store web pages and uh, bookmarks. These apps are useful to save your favorite images, articles, videos, and websites. This way, you can always come back to them and uh, organize them in any way you like. But the huge difference between Heyday and these apps is that you don't have to hit the save button to save items. For normal apps, you need to select save to actually save an article or whatever. But Heyday records the websites and pages you visited automatically, just like the browser history. And then it organizes the history by itself. It can recognize what each web page is and what it's about. For example, you can enter tweet in the search bar and it will show you the tweets you liked. Or you can search for videos, which will show you the list of videos you watched. And I didn't save any of these. It just recorded the history of videos I watched automatically, which some people might find creepy, but I was impressed. What's great about this is that you can also specify the time span. So sometimes you may wonder, what was that video I watched last week? I can't remember the title. You can just search for videos viewed last week, and then it's going to be in the list. Other than tweets and videos, it can also recognize images, articles, products, documents, and the spreadsheets, which makes it even easier to find the item you're looking for. Now, probably what I love the most about Heyday is the quick search bar. By pressing command or control period, it will bring up this search menu where you can find a web page, video, tweet you saw before. So you don't even have to open the app to find the thing you need. So you can see the biggest benefit of Heyday might be that it saves a lot of your time since you don't have to hit the save button to save things and it will make it easier to find the items you saw before by automatically organizing them. And also you can organize them by yourself too if you like. Topics are like folders or tags in Heyday. They are kind of like your interests. For example, I have a topic about Tokyo because I constantly Google about what's going on in the city. Also, I have another one about Affinity Photo because I've been learning how to use it for editing photos and making thumbnails. And I even have a topic for things I want to buy. What's cool is that if you see the dashboard, you can see topic suggestions from Heyday. So let's say you've been researching a lot about Metaverse. Heyday can tell that's your interest and then it will curate some content about Metaverse and suggest it to you, which I find convenient. Then there's another feature called Top of Mind which I don't really know how to use. I'm guessing it's like your workbench where you can put some research materials and notes in one place. You can pull some items you saved or take some memo on the scratchpad. I've never actually used it, but I can see how it can be useful when doing some research. The last feature I want to cover is resurfacing content from your past search. When you're researching about something, it will show you some relevant items alongside which helps you remember content and work from the past that you might have forgotten. If you do lots of research for writing or for work, this is going to be helpful. Overall, this is such a fascinating app. It's not perfect, of course. For example, the iOS app is a little wonky and also the quick search bar could be better. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. And even when it does, it only shows three results. I wish I could see the whole list. Anyway, I'm sure these issues will get fixed quickly. If you do lots of research on the browser, I think this is going to save lots of your time and it's a great tool to organize information you found. They have a free trial, so you should give it a try. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.